Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome Rob, hope you're doing well. Shout a little. I was cleaning up some scenes, so uh... Hopefully it'll be more in sync since I'm moving away from... Twitter at this point, it doesn't make sense to leave it on the scenes. But I think overall, chat, we did beat Astalon last time we played. However, we unlocked, I think, three modes. A monster mode, a black knight mode, and a boss rush. So I wanted to try some of them out, just to see what they're like. If I find myself enjoying it, maybe we'll play to completion. I'm more just kind of curious what else the game has to offer before we go into any kind of final review. Hopefully you're doing well, Rob. I'm going to go ahead and pause the soundtrack. Oh no, Blue Dawn is copying me now. It's all over. So yeah, we have two different modes to play. And then... Interestingly, I don't see anything that forces me to do boss rush mode. So unless it's not needed, we'll see if we can get to the end, I guess, with all the secrets. I have a feeling monster mode, if I had to guess, is probably going to be similar to... Oh no, what's that SNES game called? Demon's Crest? I have a feeling it's going to be similar to Demon's Crest, where you play as a winged goblin. Or a gremlin. I don't remember what he was... It... Was he a gargoyle? Maybe he's a gargoyle. I've not played the game, but I have a feeling it'll be the winged creature, I'll just put it that way. I'm kind of more interested in the Black Knight mode first. I'm wondering if this will play more traditionally. As I said before, my main complaint about the main game is that... Honestly, I like the map, I like some of the combat, but I didn't like the roguelike system. So I'm curious if these modes don't use the soul gathering mechanic, and instead involve you finding power-ups as you go through. I'm not sure if that means the save points will now heal you. I guess we'll see what makes them hard or how you heal differently. So we otherwise uh, destroyed the game. We got 100%. Challenge the Gorgons of the tower once again. Well, unfortunately for me, game mode Black Knight is first. <clears throat> the Gorgons inhabiting the Tower of Serpents are given a young boy as a sacrifice, decide to test his resolve by forcing him to ascend their tower and earning his own survival. I'm still feeling kind of mixed, Rob, to be honest, <laughs> health-wise. Love dancing skeletons in the corner. So we'll see. I don't think tonight's stream will be super long. A sacrifice. Sad, is it not? That its parents would throw it away like this. Humans are scum. We shall feast. But this child is too small to eat. It will do the three of us no good. A feast is a feast regardless of size. Silence. What do you propose? I propose to use the armor. This child could be persuaded to help us. We could grow strong enough to break free of our bonds to this tower. So, so far this is just kind of a replay of some of the memories, in case I guess we didn't purchase them. If context the mode, which is fine. Grr. He doesn't like back story. Very well. We shall tend to its broken and deceased body immediately. Diseased, excuse me. Once the time has come, we will install the armor. And only if the child is able to overcome the trial of this tower, will it earn its survival. But if it fails, we shall tear it apart! Many years will pass. The child will grow into an adult. Organs will take advantage of his sadness and mold his mind until he knows how to do their bidding. Over the years, his memories of the village, the cult, his parents, will be replaced with nothing but hatred. Now, fused with an ancient and evil suit of armor, the child is eager to <clears throat> pass the trials of the tower to prove himself to the Gorgons who inhabit it. The only family he has ever known. Okay. Ooh, that costs HP. Ooh, that's not great. 
He has a really high jump. Can we talk about this? Like, jeez. <laughs> I guess so, so he hits the head of the statues in the background. Uh. I'm assuming nothing happens if I try to leave. Yeah, nothing happens. Two, three, four. I feel like my jump speed is faster than my walk speed. Is it just me, chat? Like, one, two, three, four versus one, two... Yeah, definitely faster. I gotta be careful with that. That means I could go kind of flying at any time. I don't know if there is a purpose to collecting the souls. Why is it telling me about my friends? That's kind of awkward. So I noticed that we did not get healed when we're done with that. So our sword activates the magical pieces. Do I have to use... Oh, I do have to lose my own health to open those. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Especially with no immediately obvious way. So, interestingly, I don't even have to do the puzzles that are here. Since our jump is so high in this version. But I'll humor the game and we'll go a little further. seem nice, it's true. Caring and lovely, loving family. I'm just curious if, like, any of the rooms are actually different. So, like, for now, I will do, like, a somewhat normal playthrough of this. But I have a feeling, like, from a speedrun perspective. Yeah, so now we're, we're getting the mechanics. So I can slash the blue vines. I don't have to play as the blue character, which makes sense. She... <laughs> He really just goes straight to heaven when you jump, chat. <laughs> to be real with you. I'm not used to having such a high jump. Reminds you of Julius mode? Kind of, yeah. We're definitely playing as the villain. Holy. I mean, like, as I said before, look at his walk speed. The, like, I just go flying when I fall off of things. Kind of silly. I don't know if souls have any purpose, but I'll gather them for now. I assume they don't. Okay, so we unlock the elevator, but we need the elevator key to actually do anything. Oh, our base damage is 15? Oh, that's so much better than the other game. I'm curious if we could get the same secrets as before. Just jump with this new form. No, I can't. Okay. We kind of need like a way to like suspend our jump. I wonder if we could use the other abilities of the other characters or if this is going to be my movement for the rest of the game. Because at some point I have to be able to wall climb. That was required in the original game. But these enemies presumably. Oh, I can hit them immediately. Oh, that's different than the base game as well. Okay, I'm glad we tested that, by the way. Yes, by the way, it was kind of important that we do that. So can I immediately destroy these blocks? Uh... Okay. Damn, we don't play by any of the rules. Bop. Well, we're not going to go kill ourselves here. Originally, that's where we fought ourselves in the base game. I'm actually trying to remember where the secret rooms were. Because we did go on a little bit of a hiatus. I know there's one here, for example. Sadly, I don't have the keys needed for this. Interestingly, our sword doesn't go through the floor. Like, the, the graphic does, but the damage doesn't. Alright, I'm gonna hold down on the floor. For those that don't remember, there should be a secret somewhere. With a fake floor. 
I need to hold downwards, I think, to activate it. In the previous room. I should test reflecting projectiles, but I don't like how close that other one was for testing. It was in here. And in this room. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we can't do anything with this yet. I don't see the purpose in destroying that at the moment. Since I don't know what souls even do. So that's a soul multiplier. But until I see that I actually need souls, I don't see a reason to really hurt myself. Well, I guess presumably I should... You know what? I'll just take it regardless. I'd rather not just come back. Let's take some damage. Yeah, that's fine. So, so far, no ability to heal ourselves, but presumably something at some point will let us heal. Again, I gotta be really careful. He, for, for a character in heavy armor, he is the floatiest character we've played so far in the entire series. So it's a little weird going like super speed off of platforms. So presumably I'll not be able to rest at any point, since that served as like our party conversations with people. So one thing we have to be aware of, if we can't use the souls... Oh, we can't reflect. Okay, we can't reflect. <laughs> Just like, I, I wanted to test that. Okay, that's good to know. I can't reflect. I actually have to dodge now. Okay. That means if I don't find the power-ups, like how we saw in that other room, there was the equivalency of the red shard. I don't remember what they were called. They were crystals. We'll not upgrade ourselves. So, like, right now we're definitely way stronger than we were at the beginning of the game, so the boss fight should be fairly easy. The other question we haven't seen so far is how do we heal... So presumably there's going to be some kind of mechanic for me to recover health. I like that. I mean, that's one way to recover health. Just increase your max always. But sadly, we can't get access to this. Hopefully you're doing well, Rob. I like that when we're in the campfire area, we hear the different versions of the songs. So far, I do recommend the soundtrack. I think almost every area is really good. It's said that the souls of the living can manifest as glowing blue orbs. They're not always possible for everyone to see. Yeah, yeah. Again, I still don't know if Reflecting Souls is required. It could be. I could do all the secrets that are needed here. Hmm. So we got the map to have a basic idea where to go. However, until we get the ability to warp... I guess I'll continue to go the normal path for now. Although I'm seeing we could skip a whole lot of the game if we want to. So far it feels the same, so maybe there's no point to actually doing the full map. At least we can take a little peek. Max, 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 chat. I like that. Chat can't quite see it. Let me do... Let me move the chat briefly. I, I've located the boss, but too bad I already know where the boss is. Game is great sound design. Glad you enjoy it, Rob. i unlock a shortcut in case I need to come back here later. It's definitely easier with this super jump. Um... Can't do anything here yet. Going past this is a lot more awkward without Reflect gonna lie. Oh, 
only auto crit? Oh, that's, that's, that's not fair. Poor mini boss. Even in the optional mode, he just dies too quickly. I know, mid boss just got act actually dunked on. Poor boss. So I guess there's no point to hitting the glowing eyes, because that gives us the ability to damage ghosts in the core game. I guess I could see what it does. Yeah, we're missing just a couple here. On the plus side, the early platforming is much easier. I'm worried about late game platforming though. Look at us go. We. Hmm. Oh, one swing, Charlie. I'm a little worried about not being able to potentially increase her defense. That is actually kind of scary. Also, by the way, I think this is where the elevator key is on the left there. We need that at some point. Can I just jump this? Well, that's hilarious. Oh, I could definitely just skip the dungeon if I want to. Is there a reason to going over here? Oh, you know what? I want to see something. Do blood pools do anything with this character? Let's go find out. Oh, okay. So in this version, blood pools heal you. Oh. I am glad we checked that out, chat. That was super important to know. That could have been real bad if I didn't try that. Yeah. Like how it's like, there might be hidden switches here. You should look more closely, but look out for traps. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. It's not used to him jumping so high. Thought I had more time. Um, I guess I could go to the left side. So we basically just have free reign. It's like, what if you had the beginning of the game but actual mobility? Eventually, it would be nice to backtrack. Oh. I'm gonna go back. That's awkward. Hopefully, we do unlock more techniques but I don't know if we will. This might be the full character kit. Magic spell with strange health. Super jump. Not sure how we're gonna cross through some of the other hallways. We'll find out, I guess. Ooh, that could have been real bad. I don't even remember what the secret was here. then we could just stare at the butt. We have no comment. He acquired. I mean, isn't that how you get keys? You just stare at, you stare at people's rears. That's how you get blue keys. We're going to ask the log. Go this way. Although at some point I need to go back and get that key. Uh... It's kind of annoying. I guess I should go back for it now. Well, it's still somewhat convenient to get to. Yeah, that was one of the things I did not like in the- oops. That I did not like in the original castle design. Though for some reason it's possible to skip unlocking the, the elevator key door thing. I'm like, I don't think that should be optional, to be honest with you. Okay, so we now hit all the lamps. So yeah, we, we just didn't have warps unlocked because we didn't go back here after we had the key, which is awkward. We're a vampire, obviously, it's true. Oops. Where 
where was the other room I was thinking of? And up higher. It is kind of slow how fast we regen HP. Oh, I missed the other hidden room again. Forgot about it again. Oh well. So we will have to keep an eye out for damage upgrades. But health will be nice. Oh, not the butt room. Not the butt room. I'm not worried about beating the boss. Because we have, like, literally double damage compared to what I did back then. So we've unlocked a shortcut to go back since we have the key. Now the question is, for the key... Oh, we can still go straight to the apex. Interesting. For sake of exploration, I will go look at the other room. Greetings here on the late on the last remaining envoy of the Order of the Beast Hero Hunters. Order once scoured the world for information about the monsters that run the land, but since the war most of them are gone now, banished, dead, probably. Some said these knights were so versed in the ways of the monsters that they became monsters themselves, roaming the darkest corners of our world. They never finished their glorious work, documenting all the monsters of this realm. People brave enough to follow the path. Or all acquired the Beast Hero. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Again, I don't know if we need the souls, but I guess while I have a soul multiplier, I guess I'll go grab them. Hmm. We're not going to worry about the right side of the castle yet. The question is more... I guess I could just take the normal way up for now. <sighs> Wish I could make that jump. If this character unlocks double jump, I'd be so happy. You have no idea, chat. Like the dream for me. This is the room I wanted to get back to. So does this secret change at all? But we already... Okay. I don't think it does that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think that actually does anything. We can already destroy ghosts, which is normally why you go back and get that. Oh yeah, he just jumps like forever. He still needs to somehow navigate the vertical section of the game. I'm not sure how he's gonna do. Sure, I'll just... I mean, I could take the warp back if I really wanted to, but I like jumping with this character. We gotta get used to his height. He's like, boing... Wait, does that mean the boss in this room heals me? Isn't that a blood pit? Yeah, does this just heal me? Yeah, you're so dead. Yeah, we are way overpowered compared to the first characters. If chat wants to understand the struggle that happened before compared to now. No struggle. Get out of here. Silly boss. We do a million damage now. I don't care about you. Yeah, I like to Get shock. Already? I like to shock Pikachu face. It's like, well, when I do literally double damage, of course you're gonna get wrecked. And I attack really fast too. Poor boss. There we go. I was gonna say, I'll grab it eventually. I 
I think we can agree, chat. That was that was the destruction. That's how you deal with the first boss of the game on a replay. Like your gimmicks hold no power here. See that? I'm capable of learning boss patterns. Hmm. Is there a point to going this way? Uh, let's unlock that from here. Now, the downside is I was not memorizing one where the blood pits are, or two where all the power ups were in the game. This could be really brutal. Yeah, I, I like this song in the campfire version. We'll listen to it for a little bit. Oh, pff. You ruined our theme song. Get out of here, BitBoss. <laughs> right, Chad? An actual, actual destruction. Poor boss. I want that key. Oh, there's the body of the... Oh. Oh, so we get the lore, so that we got the map that revealed the area, and now we know how he died. The Black Knight killed him. Look at that chat. Extended lore. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I mean, I don't mind 100%ing the castle. I'm just curious, like, how hard it is to explore. Oh, mid-boss. Bonk. Oh, got me mid-slice. Unfortunate. I forgot about the spikes in there. That is so rude, actually. Get this real quick. Double mid boss. Get out of here. So, yeah, like, what does this room do in this version? Also, let's just heal. Chris didn't see it earlier. But all those blood pools that basically just slowed our movement actually just heal us now. So, I like that a lot more than the original game, to be honest. So yeah, what happens over here now? Are there cutscenes? Oh, there's nothing to do here? Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't even get to see the time traveler self. I mean, the, it, it totally could be any old man. I don't know what you're talking about. Be anything, Chad. Just so unlock that for later. Oh, that's right. There's no reflector relic here. Oh, man, that would have been such a good... Can you... I have to play the game legit? That's unfair. Yeah, you can't expect that of me. Oh, unless this is it. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot it was in this room. I was off by one room. Never mind. No more legit. We're good. Oh no, wait, wait, hold it, but it didn't do anything, wait. What? Are you serious? Oh, that's a, that is such a tease. Wow, they so they did put what? the relic, but you can't use it. That is so rude. That is the height of rudeness, as we like to say. Is there a blood pool up here? No. I know, 
What a tease. I mean, like, I guess... I guess most of the relics don't do anything then, if that doesn't work on us. Given that we actually have a sword. I'm not sure how to get through that without taking damage, to be honest with you. Without the, uh, dash ability. Presumably we'll still get dash, right? Or is dash also no longer going to be in the game? Hmm. I like the giant face in the background there. Ooh, that could have been so bad for us. You have no idea. Yeah, silver keys are worth getting. Blue keys are pretty easy to get. I can pick that up at any time. But I gotta be a little careful about my health. Oh, no. Oh, we jumped so high I scrolled the screen. That sucks. Is this the one where there's... Oh, this 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 is the one that's near the save point that I couldn't figure out how to do. That's right. I remember this room now. Um, I don't think I could do anything from this side. Wow, our jump is just kind of insane. My chat is like. Vroom. That's a shame. So, kind of a waste of a detour, because I thought I was going to get the Reflex Sword. That's why I went that way. Like, I kind of remember where some of the relics are, but it, like a lot of it is like, I just don't have it memorized. Oh, that takes too many swings to kill already. Is that what the point of those blocks are? Interesting. Because I think you have blind by this point to get through some of the rooms. I'm trying to remember where all the secrets were. Hmm. Are we doing more damage than before, or is it just me? Were we doing 18 to swing at the start of the dungeon or 19, chat? Do you recall? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was almost super bad. Alright, this room is m way more annoying without the reflect. True story. Yeah, maybe maybe it does care about number of souls taken. Cause I didn't pick up a damage increase. Oh boy. Hello, all seeing eye. Ooh, that was almost really bad. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I think our walk speed isn't... I think that's what that does. It does matter a little bit, to be honest with you. We're doing little jumps like this. Alright, we really just need to find a healing spot. I don't have a blue key. Yeah, the only thing I can think of, I mean, we did kill the boss earlier, but we also, I felt like, went up in d damage in this dungeon itself. So maybe it does care about kills. Ouch. Alright, we really need a blood pool. Downside, those aren't marked on the map. That's relying on me memorizing where they were, which, again, is not a thing we had to worry about before. Hmm. We'll find one eventually. 
the one with the spikes. I'm just, just trying to think if there's like another easy access flood pool. There's one at the beginning of the area. Hopefully we get like a relic later that marks them on the map, because needing to memorize them is kind of brutal. Actually, I think that just leads to the key that we already got. I don't think there's anything else we could do here. So yeah, it is a little scary that we're never going to get defense, because we saw how good defense was in this game. So, final boss could be an absolute nightmare without defense. Maybe every thousand souls is plus one damage, maybe. Try to keep an eye out when the number jumps again. We really not reach that. Alright, so the walk speed boots do help. Since that lets me maintain my momentum easier. Was there a blood pool here? I'm gonna go back. It's like right on the other side of this room, right? I just want to heal just because I'm like, we went a really long time without healing. Hopefully as our health scales, the healing scales, hopefully like one or two more health increases, it becomes plus four. It is a little unfortunate that the healing spots are not linked to the save areas. And as I said before, those rooms are not map are not marked on the map, where save rooms are. So that is kind of another layer of memorization to the game. I'm curious how monsters heal then in the monster mode. Oh, actually, we could try something real quick at the Apex. So we know about the secrets here already. Can I grab the thing that's on the left side real quick? What? <laughs> I figure since we're here, chat, get the free blue key, go take the secret path downwards. Alright, this fight, noticeably, much more annoying without, uh, Reflect. Guess I could unlock this for more items. Because unlike before, I'm actually going to get a big, bigger benefit from this, because I can already open this. So, what happens if I go here now? Is this, like, a boss fight? Oh, I don't have the key yet. Oh, I need that key. Okay, so there's nothing I could do there yet, actually. That that was a little wasteful for me to do. I could have waited on that blue key. If chat remembers, we had to go in the sewers to go grab that key. Remember I was saying I wasn't sure where to use the key? It was for that door. I don't need to worry about that. So now, what happens when we go here? Your fragment statue appears into your soul with dead eyes. Okay. So this isn't anything. Okay, and we can also slash flame already, which is important to know, because we will need to do that at some point. So we still need to kill the bosses Metroid style. And then when we defeat uh, Raiden Ridley, <laughs> we should be able to uh, ascend the tower to fight Mother Brain. Uh, let's go back here. game has an awful lot of spooky faces. It has quite a lot. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go heal. As I said before, I, I just honestly really don't remember where the other healing is. Otherwise, I'd heal in the other place. But since I know where this one is... We're still only healing plus three? Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. So I'm assuming that means if I die, it's just game over versus the roguelike reset, which, you know what, Chad? I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest with you. Yeah, you thought I forgot about this room? Nice try, game. Let's just play mind games with you. <laughs> Get that red keeper later. Um... 
I could go on the far left if I want to. I think let's just ascend to the next boss. Yeah, there is a lot of secrets in this game. I have definitely forgotten a lot of them. Some of them I still remember. Like, I know that the lion head face in one of the upcoming rooms is BS, and we need to go through it. So there's a heal room that was right here. That's unfortunate. At least I know for later. So this one is left and up of the middle save room. Is that, I don't need it now, but I'll need it later. We used up all of our keys, which is awkward. Man, oh man, if we, if, if we had projectile reflect on this character, he'd be the best character, no doubt. But we still murder them just because. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oops. What? Why'd I fall? What? You eat my jump. Oh, the floor thing. Oh, were you not supposed to go through that? <laughs> um. I think we saw something we weren't supposed to. You're not supposed to be able to go through that. Oops. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? Yeah, I totally went from the right side of the room and hit that normally. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, chat. I, I definitely didn't just glitch through it. No blue key. Okay, so remember the lion heads were fake at least. That is an annoying passageway. I'm glad we don't have to fight ourselves there. Or do we? Alright, nothing happens. This is also another place where we fought uh, this character. Hmm. Shame I can't make that jump normally. We are so close to getting 4,000 kills to determine if 1,000 souls equals the damage up. No. I still don't remember what the point of the Three Kings statement was, let me be real with you. Was that ever relevant in the story? Grab that real quick. Very replaceable, yeah. Looks like such a waste to open that up. Yeah, it still didn't go up. I don't know. Maybe it's like a weird number. Maybe just killing bosses does. I don't know. Like, I do agree we're doing more damage. I'm just not sure what caused it. Also, oops. Platform fail. That is much more difficult to do without reflect. What a tease. I mean, at least I could heal in this room. Downside, we don't crit this boss, so it's gonna take a little bit. Oh, we're like double ticking health gain. Oh, that's much better. I'll take that, right, chat? I mean, even if it doesn't go up by plus three, if it doubles the raid, I'm not gonna complain about that. I was worried we'd be at like 500 health and not able to do anything. Hmm. It's interesting how the same dungeon, now that we have abilities in a different order, is played so differently. I think that's actually, I think, a testament to how strong the dungeon design was in this game. I, I don't know how to get through this room without the reflect. Is it even possible? I don't, I don't know if it is. I'm gonna brute force it though. But anyway. Don't mind me, just gonna use the red key we got earlier. Yeah, we have the Sword of Mirrors, a map. 
We have the morning star, according to this. That's how we're able to break things. What's here now? Oh, we just immediately get the idol. One eye to rule them all. Well, I guess if we want to go to the Cyclops then, we could go murder them now. Because, you know, we're we're not done abusing mid-bosses enough. I mean, I'm going to kill all these to see, just to get the reward. You, you can't stop me, chat. I don't want to fall down the middle, because that sounds like a terrible time climbing out of that later. What an... What an important elevator to re-unlock, right, chat? Just in case. What an important elevator. So, do we just never learn wall jump? Like, how do we deal with getting to this boss? Hmm. I'm willing to fall down now. Oh, chat. Okay, chat. I think we can agree. we can officially agree. Mid boss done, done. Not a real boss. Wait, how do we kill this boss with this version? Or can we not? Oh, I could do the. That's why the statue's here. Oh, it's for this character, not for the other characters. Bonk, bonk. We did all that just to come back here. I mean, honestly, we're kind of just kind of breezing through the game. The question is, do I feel like using the blue key there or not? Welcome, Chills of Hope you're doing well. Looks like a classic game. Oh, indeed it is. In style and sense. We are playing a bonus mode. We beat the proper game. Sure, we'll unlock music test. Why not? So we are playing with a character with enhanced abilities. So I'm curious how he's actually going to end up reversing the rest of the game. So we played through what would be considered kind of like a Castlevania 3 roguelike style, where we have to improve our characters slowly. Uh, to just playing as the boss. These veins. I wish I could use them to poison this cursed world. Okay, maybe that's... Maybe he's the one that poisoned the world. So is there anything else I need to gather? We sadly don't have the relic that indicates secrets yet. I forget where we get that exactly. So we're testing my memory of the normal playthrough at the moment. I am surprised I slid in there, to be honest. Hmm. It's possible the souls don't do anything in this version, which would be a shame if they don't. the snake was going to reach me and then I was like, oh right, that's not how it works. We'll get there eventually. Want that blue key. Oh, I didn't curve my jump enough. So this should just be a damage increase then, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll take that. Got stuck there for a second. Hmm. Don't mind me, just doing puzzles backwards because I feel like doing them backwards with this character. Oops. Bonking there was unfortunate. Maybe it was like slightly too fast for me. There we go. It's possible every boss defeated just gives stats up in his version versus doing constant upgrades. Okay. Poor mid boss. Listen, mid boss, we have other things to do. 
We're we're exploring right now, right chat? Oh, and you could go straight here. Oh, that's interesting. So I really could just skip like an entire dungeon with the shortcuts if you know where they are. That's interesting. Damn, I wonder what the speed run of this game is like. Is it gonna be like 10 minutes? You just go you just skip straight to the bosses? Yeah, because if I because I can even skip using the key there. That's funny. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Blazing fast, I would imagine so. Okay, I gotta do little mini jumps so I don't scroll the screen. There you go, that that was the hard part. Oh No, chat the boss is right here. No. <laughs> so close. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go the, the other way. So sad. Oh, uh, if I land on the spikes, I could damage boost to go further. Is there healing in this room? Our other goal is to find out where the healing is. I mean, I could kill them from this side, but I don't really want to. Hmm. I know, that would have been such a time save if I found that. If I came in from the other side, I would have gone straight to the boss. What a shame. Well, there's a silver key. I don't regret going over here because I do need that. Corpse holds a note. There's a powerful spell that can banish all the spirits. Yeah, we already have that. Blah, blah, blah. All right, chat. Blah, blah, blah. I picked that up already. There we go. I do need that key for later. Hmm. So we're going a pretty far distance without any healing or a save point. Like we should, we've gone like one, two, three, level. like our last save point was here. So I know there has to be another healing spot somewhere near us. But do I damage boost is the question. Can I just reach this with a normal jump? No, I can't. I'd have to damage boost. I don't want to damage boost without knowing where the heal is. If we find healing, I'm doing it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna skip the dungeon. We'll go in the wrong way. <laughs> right, chat? That's it. Sure. Yeah, sure. We went that way. Wink. I know there's a blood pool around here somewhere. I paid for a key to get a key. Hmm. So we found a save point in case I want to damage boost, but we can't reach that key with our current character. Interesting. Goodbye faces. I like how it wants you to go around this side. There's a golden statue in this tower. It harbors a powerful being within it. Do not stand before the statue for long. Do not look into its eyes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, I did not think you would actually get a chance to hit me. Okay. So I could get another key if I want for exploration purposes by continuing this way. I have to remember where this is. So it's two up from the save point. We need that other red key. This will unlock shortcut back to the other area. So funny enough, I think I know where this puts me. Yeah, hold on. Chat, we found our healing finally. The one from like the beginning of the game. We did it, chat. I would like to do the damage boost strategy. We do have enough health for it. I just don't really want to do it when I'm at half health and lose a third of our remaining health. So yeah, we, we did this dungeon in such a weird order, but I love it. I like how different it is with the new character. I still can't go that way. 
Um, I don't know why I jumped into him. That was dumb. Yeah, I might game over on purpose at some point. So if I feel like I'm stuck, oops, I could just quit the game to reset back to that warp. Although at this rate, it might just go heal myself again. I do want that key. Let's go back and heal. I still didn't find, like, a closer healing. I know there's blood pools in the other area, because I remember there was, like, the pool that chases you, for example. Okay, so we now have another key. The nearest save is upper room and over, so I'm just going to go save there. And I guess we'll try damage boost strategies. Why not? I missed my jump. Mm. Alright, chat, we have officially saved. So if I need to, I will all F4 and warp back to that warp. Do not get me wrong, I will do it. <laughs> like, I would like to try a strategy, though. Just on the fly. I don't know if it'll work or anything. That could have been really bad. Um, I want to check this way first. It is really hard to get a mini jump with this character. I thought for sure I was just gonna hop into the spikes there. Oh, but then there's a silver key here. And silver keys are kind of annoying to get. Or excuse me, white key. Uh, do I want to do the warp room? Not really. I didn't lock this, though, to make my shortcut a little easier on myself. Yeah, this is the area I came from. So... Question. Do I even need to damage boost? Can I just go this way? Ouch. Because normally you can't go through this way. I wonder. Oh, I can. Ooh. Hmm. That is interesting. So now I guess the question is, do I bother going to the underground area at all with this character? I could get the thing where standing still heals you. Or we just fight the boss now. Sadly, I don't have the reflect ability on me yet. This might take a little bit. So phase one was easy. Sorry for the flashes. Okay, this is much easier with this character than the other one because you can actually hit it when it's up there. Yeah, got a little extra damage on it. So close, chat. I mean, I think you can agree this is way easier than when we did it with the other characters. Nice try, boss. Oh, so close. You know what? That's for hitting me. Jerk. <laughs> right, chat? What a jerk. Hitting me once. How dare he. Poor boss. 
I thought he was I thought he was gonna do a, a slightly different attack. It's so sad. Homing check got me. So now I'm curious, if I collect this, am I just gonna do more damage? So now I have the blue key, so I could go get that red key we saw earlier. So we, we're we doing the dungeons in whatever order we want at this point, chat. We're like, yeah, sure. We came in through the exit earlier. So I guess you're normally supposed to pay to get in that way? That's kind of funny. We're like, no, thank you. It seems like you can beat this mode pretty fast. I might just kill all the optional bosses just because. Oh, where was that other door? Oh, it was down further. I mean, I might as well just keep exploring. Just to see, like, how different the game feels. But yeah, I don't think we need to do what I'm doing right now. I love that I slipped by that guy. That felt good. Yeah, I want this key. So we found the warp, but I can't use it still. This is awkward. Chad, do you remember what activated it in the original game? <laughs> like, I found the warps, but I don't have the thing. Oh, you know what it is? I think I have to get the thing that's on the right side of the, the, the first floor of the dungeon. I'll go get my key back. Oh, I forgot about that wall. I was wondering how we got there. Um, I guess I could just go take the shortcut right now. It doesn't really matter. We'll do some damage on these guys first. No, we're still only doing 20 there. Hmm. Not sure what caused us to do more damage then. Unless the mirror sword itself did damage. No. I have no idea. Yeah, let's take the warp downwards, and let's go unlock the other shortcut. Love I got extra souls by just bumping into it. I mean, at this point, we get to just have fun with the game, right, chat? I guess in theory, I could just beat it today, right? Like, this mode seems like I could just be done with it in 30 minutes if I wanted to be done. But I kind of like exploring with this. It might be relevant for us to relearn some of the math. I'm definitely glad we went back for the speed boots. I think that's like the only thing so far we picked up that has been worth it. Just because walking faster is so crucial. Yeah, so now I have blue keys. So if I want to go this way, I can. So question. Oh, we activate those two. Interesting. I did not mean to fall off of that. Unfortunate. Yeah, just shake your head. Poor mid boss. All Cyclops must die. It would be funny to get 100% map clear with this character, just to say we did it. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would take me very long. We have almost every ability we need. The only thing we don't have is wall jump. Also, I killed the music. What happened to the music? Now we're doing 21 a swing. Does our health increase also increase our damage? Is that why I'm doing more damage? Huh. Right, chat? Hmm. Uh 
Oh boy, chat. Let's get some upgrades. Oh boy, chat. Look how many upgrades I have. So I can't make this, right, without a wall jump. Damn. We still gotta come back here later. Yeah, don't mind me. Just gaining, like, 15% attack. Oh, boy. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh, boy, to our damage. I guess, I guess the question is, how much do I remember of the hidden walls? So if we go down here, we could get the key. So the reason I'm going here just because we can is remember, chat, this will give us a key to fight the super boss at Apex. But then if we beat the thing in Apex, we get healing by standing still. So like, I can't die then, right? It's like, right? I might as well just go do it just because. There's a healing area. Unless sadly, if somebody blocking us, So yeah, maybe health upgrades also increase our damage. See, this time I remembered this was here. No more nonsense of missing this room. With these, by the way. No. Oh, I'm gonna hold up in the blue key. Unless, like, completing entries in the beast area also upgrades us? I don't know. I'm trying to think like why our strength was hi as high as it is now, minus the ones we just picked up earlier. Oh, uh, I should probably go get that blue key actually. Ouch. Game, please. Rude. Oh, I missed the jump. That really sucks. It's very easy to miss it, because he is super floaty. Holy. There we go. Hold on, what's this? What? <laughs> can I can I face through that if I jump properly? Can I do something like this? Hold on. <laughs> I wonder if I could confuse the game by jumping correctly. It's like I could just barely not reach it. One second, sorry about the screen scroll. Oh, I could just barely not do it. We can almost go in the wrong way. We're so close. I'm not doing whatever it wants me to do over there. Nice try, though. I still have a red key from earlier, so I might as well use it. Oh, this hallway is evil. Remember, those water drips do damage. Remember this nonsense room, chat? Remember this? Does the developer room change at all if we go in here? How did how did he clip off of that? So sad. I might actually die due to spikes. 
so unfortunate. Oh, it needs all the keys. That is unfortunate. That is an unfortunate thing to remember as we get in there. I knew it needed blocks, but not the other thing. So we're actually in pretty high likelihood of game overing here. And we're not able to see the map in this area. Let's uh, go over here. Hmm, I really need to get healing. The sad part is, I think the last blood room was like way up there. Oh, that sucks. Stupid spikes. This is also why I was worried about not getting defense up, because now this hallway is like a nightmare. They do so much damage to us if they pop us. There we go. Okay. I don't need to do anything there. Let's come over here. Hmm. I would love to heal game. Chat absolutely brutal, no healing. I mean, we went like, I don't know, like 20 rooms without it. It's kind of rough. Uh, it's kind of stuck between two bad decisions. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die before I get to a save room, sadly. If we can get to a save room, I'm also fine. But we made a lot of progress. It really sucks to potentially lose it due to this. Okay, we okay, we made it to a save room. <laughs> Where's the healing? <laughs> right chat? Don't they stop healing? Where is it? You gotta be kidding me, not this room. I mean, there's healing at the top of that, but I can't reach it without wall jump, so that's pointless. Uh, that's like technically healing, I guess. Technically healing. <laughs> Alright, chat, we have, we have one extra health. So if I fall down there, I could get more health. Oh, that was almost really bad. There you go, chat. Nothing to say about those. There's no, heal There's no healing. Oh, where's the healing? I mean, I'm glad we're doing more damage, but that's not my priority at the moment, to be honest with you. Oh, I knew I was going to miss the jump. <laughs> Platforming got me again, chat. So sad. I died to platforming, let it be known. I did die to a boss. The bosses are easy in this game. Platforming got me. Brutal. So is there really no healing at all? I would like just like to top. I don't need to be at like 100%, but like, I'd prefer to not just be at 6 for like the next 20 minutes. What the heck is this? Oh! Okay, well, I dodged that somehow. There you go, chat. Gaming out of my mind on that room. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Where's the healing? <laughs> Where is it? Holy, come on, game. Did you not put a single blood pit this entire journey other than at the top? I was gonna say, this is the true final boss. Where's the healing? Uh huh. Where's the- okay, okay, there's at least a warp. There is at least a warp near this boss that I can get to healing. If we can get to that boss, we're fine. Also, I glitched them. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. Yeah, got him. Checkmate, dumb slime. Get out of here. Uh, what does this even do for us? I don't think this does anything, right? I think I'm dead here, to be honest with you. something we weren't supposed to? Oh, that works. 
You know what? They really need to plan their spike their arrow traps a little better. I got the bow. I might die to the slimes here for calling them dumb. The vengeance is theirs. So no healing at all still. Actual, actual insanity. Where's the healing? I can make it back to the save point, so I did get a relic at least. So I could use a key just to save, which I think I kind of do at this point. Hmm. Oh, I jumped too slow. That's okay, that's why we saved. Again, I'm not going to die to the bosses. I'm going to die to the stage hazards. Apologies for that. I've been looking for healing for like 20 rooms now. Okay, so I, I will say the only downside to this mode, it really, really, really needs to mark which rooms are actually healing. The save rooms are actually not important at all. It's being at low health and not being able to heal that's a problem with this game. I slipped off the bullet. I slipped. <laughs> I was like trying to land it and I was like, I was just slightly too far over. Oh, so sorry, chat. Platforming is not my forte. I could deal with boss patterns, but precision jumps? No, thank you. Damn. Yeah, Damn. sorry about that, chat. Man, I just want some healing. Is there like... Is there really no healing over here either? Right? Like, it's not just me, right? Like, I haven't seen a single blood room this entire dungeon. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Hmm. Oh. His projectile looks set after he died. Cool. That, I feel, is a little unfair, because the Cyclops, when you kill him, his projectile goes away. I died to basically nothing, unfortunately, there. How unfortunate. Alright, so there wasn't anything over there. Is there literally nowhere else I could go for healing? Because going all the way back through there seems like a nightmare. I don't want to do that. Okay, so what I could try to do... I could try making it to the boss... Is ironically the boss I'm not really worried about. So I'm basically in glass cannon mode, which oh is really unfortunate. Which is I don't I got almost jump scared by them. That would have been instant game over. Still no blood. Insane. My chat, where's blood? I need more blood. I mean, like, listen, I, I will kill for this health upgrade. I still die in one hit, because the minimum damage I take, I think, is eight. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by the drop. Oh, that was so scary. Um, man, I mean, I guess I could start going towards the teleporter. Feels super bad. The problem is I can no longer see them in the water. I don't trust the game. Yeah, they need to die before they go in the water. I don't I don't trust them at all once they're down there. Oh, oh, this room. I remember this. This got me for a wait looking around to ascertain what was happening. I remember this room. Nice try, water drifts. You almost got me a second time looking at the enemies. Almost. But not this time. Okay, so we got an extra blue key. How does that help us? Mm 
No, I slipped. No, I slipped. It wasn't that I even forgot they were there. I just missed. No, platforming. It got me again. Damn, there's really no health down here. Hmm. That really blows, because I just lost my key. Ugh. Is it... Is it actually faster to restart than continue from here? This is so sad. I have just have no way of healing at this point in the game. The door... The elevator is, I think, 16 rooms away. That's a long time to go without me messing up a single time. I'm just saying, like, that's, that's an exceptionally deep journey at this point. Like, I can do it, it's just kind of annoying. And then whenever I go to let go of the ladder and he jumps like that, that scares me. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Stuck on the ladder again. Don't scare me, game. Don't don't randomly regrip ladder. There we go. Okay, so I just need to find a healing spot and we'll worry about other items later. The problem now is that I lost the map, so I don't remember what rooms I just went into. Going down here. That is so rude to put the spikes there. Can we talk about that? Okay, I've unlocked the shortcuts, so I can go straight to the elevator. Okay. Good, I did I didn't okay, so I don't have to take the long route to go back to the elevator. There's there's a chance, Chad. We have a chance. <laughs> Just like if I had to go through the teleport room to get to that, that would have been bad. That's what I was worried about. This I don't care about. We have this. Finally get to get some much needed healing. Give me that healing. Okay. Stabilized. Now I can platform fail. So sadly, we don't have the green Gorgon Eye to go into one of the rooms. Plus side, though, we now have a shortcut to go back down there if I need to. I do like, though, that most of my damage has been from Spike Trap. <laughs> just, just be, be real with you. They don't move. I just can't platform with his speed. Uh, one day we'll get used to it. I mean, I don't mind doing this boss. Although I want to make sure we save this so I don't have to do that again. We'll have to eventually go back for the damage boost, but honestly, I don't think I need them for the bosses so far. I think we could agree, he just got absolutely dunked on phase one. Oh, got slightly too close. I will say striking him in this form is slightly more annoying. But he should be dead here. I'm just gonna brute force it. Get out of here. I could wait, but I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> if we don't have something that hits vertical, and we don't have, like, the axe, I'd be like, nah, I don't feel like playing around. <laughs> right, Chad? I don't feel like playing around. We got other things to do. Oh, thank you. Bonk. Oh, that's right. The extremely rude spikes at the bottom. I got baited by that again. I hit the wall. No, platforming again, chat. I got baited by platforming. So sad. I'm not gonna lie, not getting armor does make me a bit sad. I'm again, I'm not worried about the bosses. It's it's purely the platforming. 
Okay, I'm gonna go heal after the boss, so that way I don't die to random spike. Because keep in mind, chat, when we did this section, I had the ability to hover my jump. So I never had to actually time any of the jumps. Because I was very thankful we didn't have to do that. Unfortunate. Let's do a refight of the boss. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this is much harder to do without a projectile. I don't think we tried meleeing this boss before. Huh. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't really. Chat, we didn't even see that the first time we fought the boss. <laughs> or the second time, or the third time. I didn't even know that was a gimmick he had. But today we learned, I guess. Let's go back and save so I don't have to redo the boss. Alright, so if I could get to the key, then I think the rest of the game should be free. Again, we're not supposed to be here until like later on, so I'm getting a little punished for it, but not like. Ultraly so. It's, and it's more like, even if I got health upgrades, that wouldn't help me, because spike damage scales with our health. So either way, I'm still trolling myself against the spikes. Let's go heal. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think that boss was required for the other thing, but we did beat the optional boss. So it was interesting to actually see what you're supposed to do against that boss. If you remember, Chad, we basically just spam projectiles on that boss and it stood no chance. It, we, we literally didn't learn any of its patterns, it just died to projectile spam. So now we're learning the way the game wanted us to play some of the bosses, which is interesting. But anyway, let's go deeper. So we have a ton of upgrades we could get through by going backwards. Um, I guess they're kind of worth going for at, the, at this moment then. Oh right, suddenly Centaur's here. Hi suddenly Centaur. a bit faster than I thought he would. Oh, he's still not dead? Wow. I mean, we're, we've been hitting him for a while. I forgot how tanky this guy is. Oops, my bad. Uh. Oh, okay, pretty tanky. I think Jack can agree. I can't even go up there after all that. So sad. I'm still willing to not go back yet, though. Oh, there's a blood pool right here. Damn. All right, at least we found one. That should be good enough for now. Pick up the key. We don't need the hints, so we're not going to use those blue doors. Oh, we got another warp, but I don't have the warp thing still. Hmm. You know what, before we continue to the other place, let's go get the key for this. Because that's now a second set of warps I can't use without getting the other relic. Bonk. Alright, so we're down to two hitting them, which is good. So this entire time, we've only gotten walk boots. A lot of setups. We know that jumping makes us go faster, so I need to just basically short hop everywhere. The 
I could go back this way if I want to, but... Go this way instead and complete the other section of the map. There we go. Now we can officially use the warps that we saw earlier. Uh, I think it was worth coming over here. We got a free blue key. So, no regrets there, because we know we need like a million keys. There we go. Now we can start using warps to go other places. I think Chat can agree, much better. <laughs> so we locked the lifts, we went back for the void charm. Uh, I guess I'll use a key here. Yeah, this is where I wasn't sure if we had to go this way or not. For this thing. Oh wait, what? Wait. Oh no, soft lock. Uh oh, chat. Uh oh, we we're just talking about dungeon design. No, seriously, soft lock. Game, please. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to. I mean, I hopefully I saved recently. Soft lock is real. <laughs> I was like, at least we soft locked in an interesting manner. Did they never think I was gonna go backwards through that door? I mean, come on, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me on that one. So, is there just, I guess there's no point to going down there then, since I just soft blocked myself. Um, let's go this way. Figure that out. I know, <laughs> it's like, hey, we, we got a legit soft block. At least we know where to heal now, so I don't need to be as careful, now that I know. I'm gonna go back for this key, because I think getting this key was important. The other damage upgrades, whether I get them or not, I don't think will make a difference, honestly. It's more making sure I don't run out of keys. Because we saw what happens when you run out of keys. We gotta go on, like, the Great Hunt, and I'm like, I don't really want to do the Great Hunt later. I'd rather have more than anything else. That is so evil, the spikes are there, by the way. Whoever put those spikes right there, evil. <laughs> just, I'm just declaring that. Because, like, you want to fall down quickly to go to the save room, but they put a spike there on purpose. It's so rude. Well, anyway, we're plus keys, which means we can explore anywhere we want to, including going out of order now. Because we have way more than we're supposed to. Because I've, I've skipped needing to go through the warp, so I don't need to ever touch those. Um... I think I forgot to get a warp that was here, by the way. I think the warp was, like, up here somewhere. Do I feel like going for it at the moment? Not really. We know we need the, uh, Gorgon Eye green at some point anyway. Oh yeah, we need, we need the green Gorgon Eye anyway to get down there. Never mind, let's not even worry about this then. We'll come back here and fix it up later. Uh, let's go to Mechanism 2. So there's a lot of damage upgrades I could get. I don't think I really care. This is the before. Bosses are not the thing I'm worried about. Uh, can I still... I think I could do the Cyclops den right now. Get that out of the way. Can I do something like this? No, I can't. Okay. I was just curious if I could clip through the platform. I wouldn't put it past this game at this point. Bottom path is a key, if I remember correctly. Go get that real quick, actually. Or, or is it the top path? I might have baited myself. I think it was top path. Damn, it was top path. I was like, damn. I, I knew there was a 50-50 to a key. I just forgot. How unfortunate. I really gotta stop bonking those enemies. 
Which I will say is a lot harder to not do with super jumps. You go so far with the laser taps. There we go. Got some keys on us now. I'm just gonna do this just to spare me some hassle later. Wow, that multi hits. Hmm. That should. Oh. I need my jump. I like slipped off right as I jumped. So unfortunate. Um. I want to go down there yet is the question. Damn, Chad. Didn't even think about that puzzle. You just did you feel the confidence? <laughs> it's just like, I'm done with the <laughs> no more puzzles. Nice try though. Cute puzzle. Hmm. Only get it from the other side, that's unfortunate. I will say killing that enemy is a lot more annoying with just using this character. Can I skip this? No, I can't. Uh, I might be able to get a couple slices there, though. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Okay, there we go. Damn it, it's easy to slip off the ladder while jumping. Speaking of which, while jumping. There we go. Poor mid boss room. So we got another key. So we have so many keys, chat. So if we need to shortcut something, we can do it. Um, where was the Cyclops down? I thought it was here on the right side somewhere, but I'm not seeing the door for it still. Unless this was it. Oh, okay. Kind of was, but kind of wasn't. It's a shame that these aren't, like, secret rooms that do anything. Kind of a shame. Missed opportunity there, for sure. Damn it, she did platforming again. Uh, we need to go heal. Ooh, that looks like a fun drop. Where are you gonna drop me? Oh, you're putting me back here. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. I don't know about this placement. Where was the... I think there was a healing thing here, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, I guess that works. It put me next to healing. So I have everything I need to go to the Cyclops Den. I still don't know if I can actually reach the third... Or, yeah, the third boss or not. We killed an optional boss already. Essentially, the moment we have wall jump, or we get, uh, the green door open, we're gonna be in business. coming up here with a weapon. Hello, alternate path. You might be what I'm looking for.
Get out of here, Cyclops door. Our valuable has been absorbed by your body. Actually, was there any blood pool in this entire Cyclops den? Might not have been. Gotta be careful here. I could shortcut this. We need to kill 32 more before we could go through the Cyclops door. Yeah, hopefully the monster can rest at the campfire. Because that would make it a lot more fair. I think Chad would agree. Because I'm okay with the, the, the save points being the only points you can heal. I don't need, like, midway points, to be honest. Combining the healing and the save in the same spot is pretty much normal game tradition anyway. I got bonked by the platform, that's so sad. Wow, that actually just legit one-shots the Cyclops. That's so unfair. <laughs> we have the death... Oh, it ricocheted. We have the Death Beam versus the Cyclops, apparently. Look at that. Actually unfair. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I don't think we really need any more upgrades, right, Chad? I just I think I just need a little bit of health. I think we know how we're going to cheese, like, every boss. What do you think, chat? It does double our damage at, like, triple the rate. There you go. Those are some multiplicative factors, as we like to say. Like, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. The dreaded drip almost got me. Stage hazard is real. Not gonna lie. No reflect definitely sucks. Also, he just got stuck in midair. I'm pretty sure chat saw something they weren't supposed to again. The bug leaf did never reach the floor. I tried though. Oh, the dreaded drip got me. It's too powerful, chat. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? So let me get this straight. I now have so this so let me get this straight. The near endgame bonus area is more forgiving than the catacombs. Okay. Right chat? Okay. Oh, I didn't die for some reason. You can multi-fire it? Oh no. Okay, we have to delete a boss just pressing the, the win button. Like, oh, were you trying to fight me? Not allowed. Ah, uh, right, this thing. We're having to position around. I bonked. There we go. So, 19 more. Oh, I can almost make it up there. I'm so close. This can barely not make it. So I could open that column from the wrong way if I want to. Hmm. Is it worth doing? I guess. I think I can force it to screen scroll the wrong way. And anytime I can do something in not the intended order, it makes me happy. Alright, chat, it's the small things you look for. Oh, I almost got hit by the drip. Are you ready, chat? 
Funk. Wow, the fact that we're just basically four hitting them is pretty silly. Wait, you can cancel the... Wait, you can cancel the death animation? What happened there? Can you, can you normally skip that? How did I do that just then? I had like fast, fast death. We're in, we're finding new tech chat. Oh, by the way, this guy's ultra dead. I get a little bit of our health back. We don't need to like totally top off. It's just boom, right chat? Death Cannon says no. Uh, I'm gonna heal just like a tiny bit more. Oops. Good enough. <laughs> wow. I know our other characters got pretty unfair. I don't know if they were this level of unfair. Piercing, multi-hit, full screen. Okay. Right, chat? Like, oh, okay. Wait. Wait, can you curve it? Oh, you can move it with the D-pad? Wait, what? Why? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Why can you do that? No. Don't, no. <laughs> wait. That's not fair. What? Well, we got more damage. Not that I need it. Uh, apparently. This weapon has like the sickest tech. Fennel? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, let me get out of here. Okay, yeah, we'll heal a little bit. Well. Now I know that, I can probably hit a whole bunch of things I'm not meant to hit. Because there's no way they thought about you curving the curving the shot like you're unwanted to hit the targets. Also, where is the last monster? Get this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. Oh, I almost got him with the diagonal. Bonk. Ultra dead. No mercy. No mercy indeed. Oh boy, this is gonna be brutal. I'm not convinced we actually did any like more than half of those rooms correct. I kind of went in one of them backwards for some reason. Get a little healing top off before we go further. So we did get a little extra damage. Not that I think it'll matter. If we could get to like 35 damage a hit, that's that's where it's gonna matter, because see how we're one-shotting those beetles? We need to one-shot those leaping enemies. Then it matters. Now we just need to reach the door, right? Which is below us. Well, I mean, I, I'm going to try to curve the shots on this boss. Although something tells me this boss is not gonna last very long. I'm willing to sacrifice my health for the, the greater good of cheese. Nope, get out of here. like walking towards him menacingly yeah that seems fair <laughs> right chat yeah sure i'm a ghost I'm a ghost something like that oops i bonked 
Well, that side area was ultra free. And to no one's surprise, it didn't have a lot of platforming, so I did fine in it. <laughs> Just like, oh, wait, like, listen. Boss kills, got him. Platforming, mm-mm. We'll just recover some health. What do you think? So we killed two optional bosses. Where do we go now? Do I just go intended route? Oops. You can see you actually walk so fast there, I walked off the platform and then walked back on the platform. That's why I did that goofy animation just then. Some of the characters did that to me when we got the movement increase. Okay, where do we go? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't have the thing that tracks 100% rooms, so I might not bother. Cause that was something we had to unlock in the other shop. Look at the key that's here. Hmm. on the ceiling. I was curious if I can make that through the unintended way. Oh, Cyclops. You don't want to know what happened to your prince. Spoilers, it wasn't good. You're not a threat to me. Hmm. Yeah, so do we- do I get the floaty jump here? I'm just curious. I imagine not, but I figure it's worth a shot. Uh, wait, how do you leave this then if you can't floaty jump? Wait. Uh, I'm about to take a million damage. There's no floaty jump chat. Oh boy. Okay, we'll just damage boost through. Hmm, that's kind of unfortunate, so we can't floaty jump, which would have made me very happy with the platforming. Hmm. I'm not sure there was another way to do that, because you just fast fall and I couldn't jump out of the pit. Actually, a smarter thing to do is just go through this. Here, Cyclops, now it's personal. You're not allowed to override the stage themes. You, you too, you're not allowed either. Hmm. So I guess that begs the question, are there any relics that work on us other than the movement boots? Because now we're going back to the intended route. <laughs> I know I know we did like the craziest detour into Cyclops Den uh, and the catacombs, but yeah, I guess we're ready to do intended route. there's any secrets here, sadly. Oh well, guess we just leave. So yeah, I could go back underground if I want some damage boots. Um, I don't need to yet. Also, that's a lot of switches I can do to open up shortcuts. I might as well ask. Miss the ladder. Skill issue. Likes win again. Okay, so we came in the wrong way last time. Um, we don't have the thing that tells us where important things are, which is definitely a downside. I did not mean to touch that door. 
That sucks. I just had momentum from jumping. Wasted a, a white key there. Unfortunate. Uh, I could go for the damage boost strat. Let me save, though. Yeah, because I, I don't have wall jump still, which is interesting. Maybe it's not possible to enter those rooms? Don't think the Ziggledy count looks accurate there in Parameter. You have zero. I don't think that's possible. You're probably at like several hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Like, hmm. I mean, I could go for the damage boost strat, but I said earlier. Oh, oh, of course I landed exactly on the platform I needed to not land on. Well, that works. Take less damage from that. Aww. Chad, it thinks I'm gonna go hit that thing over there. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna go collect my damage boost, though. Oh, it ate my key. Man, I hate that so much. I swear I was not holding forward there. It was just momentum. Like, I let go in that little delay. Touched the door. So sad. Not worth it. Oops, I wrong. Hmm. Um, I guess that begs the question. Do I go to the side areas at all? I think so, right? I think I just actually try to clear it. Aw, uh, one swing shy of killing. One way to clear ahead. Ooh, five health is huge. Yeah, because I can't make it up this way. Hmm. So how does he make it through the dungeon then if we can't go this way? Huh. Thinking. Thinking processing. through there. Hmm. It's kind of annoying, actually. Uh, question mark. Ooh, he just attacked immediately. That kind of sucks. Let me go heal up and think about where I need to go to progress. Like, I could go back to the Apex, in theory. Yeah, I'm assuming something's wrong with stream elements. I mean, it looks like you're correctly ranked. I think it just doesn't detect your Ziggledies. Need to go up, but I do think first go. I could try to go back up through here and go in through the reverse way. Because this is a shortcut. I think going left might also be. Uh, I could try going through here and seeing what happens, I guess. Do a drive by save while we're here. The plus side, I did unlock basically all the shortcuts over here. Backpacking should not take that long. Oh, somebody has a lot of zigglies. Chris is hoarding them all. Quick, get them. Right, because I couldn't go that way, but I should be able to get up here, right? Yeah. I guess I could use this to climb to the next area. That was an evil spike. Evil! <laughs> I almost fell for it again. Holy. 
I'm gonna take another white key, because I know there was at one point I needed like double white key and couldn't progress. And that also happened for blue key, so I think we can avoid that scenario. So... How do I make progress? I don't have to ever use that door, so I save a key. I don't think I could damage boost my way through that. So I can't go up through that way. Um... I could use the warp to go here to go left. But at some point I... I mean, like, unless I'm allowed to go take the kick boot relic, I'm not sure what to do. It'd be weird if that was, like, the only one that did work, because the others don't seem to do anything. But presumably there's another path with the ability to break blocks I'm not thinking about. Uh... Sorry for pausing, I need to look at the map. Um... Yeah, because, I mean, catacombs eventually will require a Gorgon Eye Green. And I know that's that, that's only when you're done with everything that you would dare go where we were earlier. Which wasn't too bad until the spikes murdered me. Um... I am not sure how to use the warp room in a way that's meaningful to me. I think what I'm going to do is just go left from here. So we already have more than enough damage for me to beat the game. It's just more of a question of how do I actually progress. So I know my goal is to go up, but there's a couple passageways I can't take because I don't have wall jump. Evil. Oh, thanks for sticking around, Rob. Hopefully you have a good night. Hmm. Try to go this way again. Unfortunately, I don't have the shortcut through there. I should eventually get it. Yeah, did you see how he like sucks into like the next tile? Ridiculous. Okay, we haven't taken the warp so far. Chad, do you feel the confidence in that puzzle solving? Just... Mm -mm. You didn't even fool me once. I'm just not falling for it. Try again. Yeah, we don't have the green one, so we can't go that way yet. So... Hmm... I mean, I guess I could try going the normal way. Maybe high jump is good enough for what we need to do. Another healing area, at least. I wonder if you're not meant to be able to multi-shot those like I am. I'm honestly curious if that was intended for you to stack them like that. Because it feels like it's trying to lock you in place to move with them, but I've always been jumping out of them and ignoring them. Wow, it shot me into the spikes. Did you see that? So rude. Uh, we unlocked at least another shortcut. I think we can agree. That's that's a good feeling. If I need to heal, I can at any point. So the fairies are now only two shots for me, which is huge. I'd like to get that silver key. Flush white key. Okay. I think that's one of those times where it's absolutely worth doing that. Good enough. And there's no point to checking the bonus room, because it's just gonna not lead anywhere. So disappointing. Hmm. 
Hmm, but I can't go this way because I don't have wall jump. Hmm. Right, chat? Now, th now this is the puzzle. How do I get through the wall jump section without wall jump? There has to be another way that I'm just not thinking of. I really fell off. Game, please. I <laughs> just... There we go. Let's do that so I don't fall. There we go. Can I even make this jump without glide? I don't think I can, right? I mean, maybe with damage boosts. At least we have proof. We went into this room, even though there's nothing here. Hmm. So I went all that way, but I can't do anything there without wall jump. Got that item already. Ah, jumped into the spike, because of course. I'm not messing around, I'm deleting him, chat. <laughs> right? I'm like, listen, I need to heal real quick. Get out of my healing area. Yeah, that does actually suck that it looks like it's not duplicating the heal. Maybe that was a glitch earlier where it was double healing. Oh, it like slightly too long. go there because I haven't fought that boss yet. I'll get there eventually. Oops. So like, does this room just not let you, or do you get wall jump? I don't know anymore. If I come down here and get stuck, I'm gonna be so sad. We did save recently, at least. Remember this area, chat? Because I, I don't have the slow fall, so how do I, I can't do the puzzle in this area. But I should be able to get the thing that's over here, at least. Yeah, like, does this work? No. <laughs> so sad. On the plus side, at least I'm healing. I, did, I didn't feel an ability to wall jump there. Yeah, it doesn't wall jump. Hmm. I did not mean to land on that. That is so sad. And I'll take the free health up increase if I can avoid touching that. I'm not gonna say no to like a little extra health. I'm looking at this map and I'm like, man, what did we not do here? Yeah, without the indicator for items, I will say this mode is definitely very reliant on your ability to memorize the previous map, which is not great for me, to be honest. Right, because when you're looking at this, it's like, uh, we don't have the secret tracker anymore. Of unfortunate. So we came back up here. Oh, 
killed the horror. Oh, I thought we were gonna go through the column. I gotta kill you. I thought it would, but maybe that's fine. We'll take it. I'll take a free key. But then we're back here where I can't do that much. Yeah, so this this is the path we normally take to go there. It, oh, is that is that why there was that goofy teleport? Remember that at the top of the tower? I was asking why would you ever put it there? Was it so that you don't soft lock yourself as the other character? This is all starting to make a little more sense to me now. Remember, we brought, like, a block over, and then we jumped into it, and we're like, what was the point of it? Makes sense now. They, so they did that to stop you- oh, that's rude. Did that to stop you from soft blocking. Ah, missed the block. So unfortunate. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. Hey, yeah, please. There we go. This one will reveal secret rooms, but it doesn't reveal all secret rooms because it's terrible for no reason. Oh, so she does haunt you into other rooms, that's what she's saying. That means it, w it would have been much easier to just bully her over here. That would have been good to know. Well, I guess now we know. So we got one of our map hints back, I guess. Which makes Pokemon noises a little bit. I'm so scared it's gonna take damage there. So we did all that, but that didn't really help us either. So I don't know how to climb the Griffin room. There has to be like another way that I'm forgetting to do. Yes, this was just a shop. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, I mean, it's gonna make that in like two jumps. I will gladly take a heal and a save, right chat? Our damage looks decent, even against the enemies. I'll take whatever health I can get against the spikes, I guess. Ooh, unlocking a shortcut there is huge. So this is marked as a boss room, but it's not a boss room. Oops. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. Oops a daisy. It's not a boss. Hmm. Oh, we're like barely not able to grab that. I should probably go get the key I just used back. I bonked. So sad. 
I mean, I guess I got through the griffin maze thing. I just took a different route. Oh, that is evil. You can't reach that in a single jump. You just land on the fire. That's actually evil. Whoever did that is a monster, chat. What an absolute monster for whoever did that. Yeah, there's no boss here. Extra I'm gonna heal up. says I've been lurking, watching vids on it, make better lurking, and every time I looked over, it looked like you're running in circles. What do you mean? I'm not really running in circles. I made a lot of progress. I'm almost done with the game, actually. The only thing I was looking for was a way up here. And also, I guess, earlier when I died, but that's just because I died. He's so fast moving. Holy. I might have to turn off his dash movement. <laughs> I'm like, I just need to be able to slide off platforms. He's scaring me with his momentum. Go this this way. Destroy that early. Do I need to open this? I have enough keys I could check. Puts me up here. He's trying, Chad. He's really trying. So now their tankiness is going to start being a problem gradually. Uh, can I make that with a? I guess I can make it with a single jump. It's an awkward jump, though. So at least there's more healing here than the bottom area. Okay, you see? The small health increase. damage boost with that, that's fine. Right, so we got a couple upgrades. Okay, let's go this way. Nothing to do in this room. I could break the wall on the left. Oh, I didn't mean to fall there. Yeah, I mean, this is at least free damage. I'm not gonna say no. I don't think it'll make a big difference at all. Is it the before? I'm looking for certain thresholds. Locking a shortcut here is huge. Whoa, his jump height is insane. And I bonked. <laughs> of course. There we go. So two minor health increases. Oh. Man, it's just he's so floaty. <laughs> just like I can't I cannot understand how floaty he is. It's just like the slightest of pixel taps and he goes like woo! Um, I'm gonna say no to this puzzle. Can I bonk on something to get that extra height? And I can do this as well. I'm not doing this puzzle. 
Listen, Chad, it, it wanted me to teleport all over the place. I don't know where my hitbox was, but I'm not going to complain about that. I feel like the game had me dead to rights, but I didn't get it for some reason. Not our heads on that one. Look at all this stuff I don't have to do. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I'm looking over there, I'm like, mm. I don't know if I... Oh, the screen scroll got me. Like, uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about how much I want to do this. All right, this is the shortcut that I couldn't use. So what's the point of the shortcut with this character? Is there any? Because I can't wall jump to reach the bottom part. Is it just to go through here? A place we didn't even go to? I don't care. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm gonna be like, mmm. I do a hard pat. Oh. Thought he was gonna wait a little longer before attacking. Okay. I'm just gonna heal again. Yeah, the only thing I was kind of wishing for is that if we could get a little more armor. I, I don't think health really matters, because I'm going to start taking, like, 15s and 20s. Unless something, like, genuinely reduces that by, like, damage. Our health ups don't really matter. Oh, that's so awkward. It screen-scrolled me. Team, please. Yeah, that is kind of the downside of the super jump. You can end up in another room when you don't want to be. Oh. Wait, how do I deal with that? Game. <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about, chat. Like, it if I didn't scroll off screen, I would be able to ride this platform. There we go. Is there no other way for me to make this jump? I guess not. Yeah, so I can't make that one. Hmm. Guess I gotta go this way for now. Alright, good thing we have spare white keys, because I'm gonna need them. I guess the broken or the the block break there is so that I can. Sk I don't agree with that hitbox. Is if I don't have the ability to reflect or to dash, so I can scroll through there like this. I guess that was the intended way to do it with this character. Just keep in mind, I don't have the ability to go through multiple spaces very quickly. I'm so glad I opened that bridge to myself. There's no point to use that silver key. We're gonna hope we never accidentally use it. Oh! The game got me on the screen scroll there. Wasn't sure what happened. Right, so now we just need to make it to a save and we should be fine. Oh no, not this room. Wait, hold on. We might not be fine anymore. Um... No, Centaur, the healing's right there. No. Oh, I can't walk past him. Oh no, I have to actually fight him. Are you serious? Oh man, I think I'd just get through him. This blows. I might die here. Oh, it's so awkward without floating jumps or projectiles.
This is okay. This is actually just evil. Why would they do this? I could barely hit this. Okay. If we stay over here, we should be safe. <gasps> no, and it's full screen now. No, and it's full screen. Oh, last time it didn't do that. Remember, chat? Because I purposely stood on that side last time because it didn't reach. Oh no, it goes full screen. That's so annoying. I hate that so much. Oh, it's so annoying. Man, that was so much progress lost just then. All just because there's like no, literally no save between where we were in the next area. That sucks. Uh, I should probably still get this. Yeah, that's really annoying. Two things. One, there's an invisible wall that got me. And then it caused me to bunk into the spikes. That was, I got wombo comboed by uh, game mechanics there. Because that would have been fine if I was at 20. But the fact that it like literally, it literally invisible walled me. There's not much I could do about that. Um, are you kidding me right now? Thank you. I guess I could explore for some other... I don't even want health increasers. I mostly just want defense, but I don't think I could get that, sadly. Kind of unfortunate. Don't remember what the point of this room was. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Like, do you see how much damage the spikes are doing to me? So I die in four spike hits, roughly five. It's too much damage for me, chat. I'm gonna slip off of stuff all the time. Uh, I can hit this once, I guess, from here, just because. In case I do need to come back this way. Welcome, Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. Just unfortunate. I'm gonna go get the healing that's in here. Okay. I will definitely go grab a silver key because we saw we needed those. Well, we know we don't need to do anything on my left or my right. We could just skip the puzzles here. So I'm going to. That is a lot of projectile attacks coming at me. Yeah, that room sucks for sure. So the problem we had before is that we had this, but it didn't help us because we needed to go this way. I'm just gonna, or I'll miss him with this. I'm gonna say, or I miss him with the attack that would kill him. Of course, unfortunate. Um. Well, I got an extra key this time, which we might need, as I said before, to progress if we're skipping rooms. You go back to where we were before, get centaured. Just realized I can't do that. Controlled myself with the ladder. Oh, I'm losing so much health on stupid stuff. Man. If only the centaur was not guarding the only health pool. Been fine. There's something down here I could use. There is. Okay, that's actually good to know. Let's go heal on that one then. Game. Thank you. I still don't know how to get through here cleanly. But I definitely want to heal up here. Centaur should now be free. Now that I'm not at like 5 HP. We'll do this so I don't fall down by accident. 
You can skip needing that door. At least me have one more white key. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to hunt for more. This time, I'm just gonna delete the centaur. There we go. There we go. Now that I have health to spare, that's much easier. Healed up a little more. Start with the life juices of Fallen Foe, something like that. Uh, I think you're dead. Are you kidding me right now? How tanky is that thing that it survived like that many shots? Actual insanity. Let's regen a little bit so I don't get hit by the real damaging fireballs. There we go. Damn, that thing is tanky. Okay, let's heal. Look for a save room. Also, I noticed the candles are not breakable for health, which is also kind of rude. Does this even do anything? I, I, I think it does. I feel like I'm more uncontrollable than before. I mean, like, I don't know about you, chat. I, was, I think my movement speed of the air is now very high. That was a required relic, I think. Look at this. I'm gonna hit everything, chat, at this point. Do I just jump an entire, like, room now? More or less? Yeah. Okay, good. We unlocked a shortcut. Hmm. I'm almost at the boss that I care about. And then we'll go, I guess, beat the game. Although, I kind of want to see if there's a bonus boss. If there's something that needs us to 100% the map, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if I care about that without having the tracker. Oh. Thought he wouldn't shoot that far. not to burn all my health here, but I really need him to die at some point. You know what I mean? Thank you. I got a spare blue key, which is not bad. I'm so close to the boss, but I'm also very injured. Spikes, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got there eventually. Again, I'm not really worried about this boss. It's more just the platforming. So once we have this, I can finally go underground, and then we can see if there is another bonus boss. And then beat the game, I guess. For Luigi, it feels like it. Yeah, I think we could probably beat the game. Even doing the bonus path, I think we could probably be done in an hour. I don't want to 100% it in an hour, but at least we could beat it.
Who are you? Why have you come here? No one could disturb my sleep. I will take great delight in eating meat, eating your meat off your bones. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What did I not hit yet? It's her chin. Spikes are the deadliest thing in this world. They are. Holy. I apologize for the flashes. Is there a way to turn it down once I'm in-game? I think so. That was rude. Yeah, Chad, I think I'm gonna have a, a big, a big healthy dose. Uh, I don't think so. Will you just let me hit you? Hey, right, Chad, I, I feel like it's kind of rude. Stop it. Hello? Just, just let me damage you. Stop trolling. What is this? No, I don't think so. Whatever you're doing, stop it. <laughs> right, chat? No. Waving my finger. No. Bad. <laughs> it's like, just give me a hitbox and you will die. I promise you. Yeah, our magic spell damage is definitely busted. That thing had a tiny hitbox and we still killed it almost instantly. Just trying to pull a Dark Falls. Like, we're gonna turn out the light, and now you gotta dodge all these patterns. I'm like, no, just die. I, I actually, no. <laughs> just no. Perish. <laughs> just... End of statement. Um... I mean... I, I literally could right now go straight to the final boss. But I wanna explore a little bit first. Oh, I have a lot of health. Huh. Interesting. We... Remember, the final boss is just literally right from here. I could go beat the game right now. Um, But what do I want to do? Also, I don't know why it thinks there's a boss there. I think it's kind of an oversight on their part. Um, I guess I could go to Organ Tome 1. I'm not looking to 100% the map, but I'm looking to see if there's a point to getting the key from the other place. Probably not, but at least we could say we did it. So I still have a decent number of keys, surprisingly. I think this one needed the green one. Yeah, we couldn't come here until this point. I mean... Sure. Extra damage for final boss. I think we'll nod at that one, right? Right, chat? That one's okay. Wow, look at our, our jump arc is insane. It's like, how far do you want to jump? Yes. Oh, I never unlocked the way back, that's right. I have no idea how I landed on that platform, but we will take it. That was like the most generous moment of the game going, uh, close enough. I swear I like hit the ledge, didn't go on it, held left, and then eventually it just went on. I don't think I actually landed on it, to be honest with you. But we'll take it, I guess. Yeah, the dev place, I don't remember if it had any upgrades. But we're coming back this way anyway. I like the music in this place. Oh my gosh, our jump is just out of our jump is out of control, chat. Look at this. Holy. So if you didn't notice there was a difference in our jump before, uh this is kinda hard to control. I got the key that was there. I mean look. 
<laughs> like that. I jumped like the entire room. Boing. I guess that's one way to compensate for movement. I, I'm surprised I slid in that gap, but we'll take it. And if only souls did something. Alright, so what was over here that I couldn't get before? Oh, I still- actually, I still can't get that because I don't have wall jump. Huh. Interesting. So that secret's not attainable in this mode? Because we have wall jump and it doesn't do anything. So it's not a question of did I grab the relic, I just- it, it doesn't literally do anything. Where was the secret in this room that it's blinking? I don't remember. Fun. I'm definitely healing before we go any further. My champ, we, we are not taking any chances on these spikes. I need my spike insurance. So, I mean, do you see me trying to fall off the platform and I just can't? It's just like, Nyrum. uh, yeah, I guess I can make this jump. I'm gonna kill that guy first, though. Can't believe I can make that jump now. I got hit by the almighty block. I'll take one extra key just in case I need it. Ah, <sighs> just immediately get hit by spikes, of course. I'm going back and healing. All this mobility, I can't dodge the spikes. So sad. Yeah, like, see, why am I double ticking here? I feel like that's a bug. I mean, it's a good bug. I wish that that's how it behaved normally. Four damage from that is nothing. I don't care about that. Alright, so this is where we went into the horrible nightmare world. I still didn't go to that other room. Because remember, I never got to the warp that was here. I think it was up, up, up left. Should probably at least go get that just in case. I have no idea how I cleared that room without taking damage, Chow, to be honest with you. I was I was just as much shocked as probably you were that <laughs> I jumped through that and did not get bodied instantly. I jumped into the triple drifts and none of them hit me. That was something. There we go. That'll make progress a little easier. Sure, we'll grab one of those, because why not? I forget where the other one was. Does Chad even remember where the other one was at this point? They were all, like, near each other. I want to say one was, like, in Mechanism somewhere. Well, that's not where I thought that was. I think the room I'm looking for is over here. Alright, well now we get even more souls, because it's funny. Spike's now extra spiky, pretty much. Let's go to Subterranean. See what happens there. So at least now it's not this horrible nightmare maze where I have one- Because think about it this way, chat. I went from this save all the way here. Or all the way here, I mean, without ever hitting that warp, which was kind of painful, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that extra movement oh, spikes again, of course. Seriously? Extra movement, please. I slid right off the platform again. This is what I'm worried about. I might actually have to turn it off. 
It's really hard for me to get the landing. Is it, it's like, as I said before, like, that's a single tap of the D-pad. Do you see how far that is with a single press? Like, that's, that's a big distance, chat. <laughs> Precision is really hard right now. I'm gonna try my best, though. But holy... Extra spiky flavor, something like that. Whatever. Timing is just bad on that one. Score damage there should not matter, so let's go down and to the right. Griff almost got me again. Oh, oh, precision. Oh, no. But you know what? You know what, chat? That was a good recovery. I don't know how I didn't get hit by anything there again, but we'll take it. Listen. Holy. The double-edged sword of that mobility is something else. I hope you're witnessing how insane his movement speed is right now when I fall off a platform. Like, look at this. That's- he's falling off the platform, but he's moving so fast there, he ends up back on the platform. You see it acting weird? Like, you'll- you'll see, like, this is my normal left-right, but then I do this. <laughs> he just, like, teleports slightly. Holy. What a character. He, loop, he leaps a room at a single bound. Bonk. I have no idea. I have no idea how I did not take damage from that, but that's fine. Sure, we'll see if there's anything secret for bringing this character here. I'm at basically full health, so this should be fun. Oh, no bonus dialogue there. What a shame. I, I don't even know if I could jump low enough to not get hit by that be real with you. He just jumps so high. So this is the single A press chat. That's how high he jumps. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he just, he's, he's acting a little weird there, chat, when I go to leave the platform. So yeah, so if you're wondering why I said sometimes it eats my jumps, it's because uh, sometimes I'm not sure the game fully understands if I'm off a platform or not. Did he just run across? I think so. I mean, at this point, I feel like he moves at least a block and a half with ball falling. It's like the Super Mario effect, where there's like the one the one tile gap. I think I'm almost at the two tile gap. Alright, so we, we went in here. Sadly, there were no extra secrets for this mode. What a shame. Well, I guess if people wanted a faster character, hopefully this satisfies their want and cravings. Uh, I'm gonna take the blocks down, I think, actually. Health-wise, I'm doing still mostly fine. Yeah, we don't even have to kill these guys again, too, which saves our health. Try to fall down. <laughs> He's just so fast right now. There we go. Now we save with like 60 health instead of 8. So what did we do last time? I think we went to the right to get some upgrades. Let's 
go get them since we're here. I uh, still have blue keys, which is good. Oh. Jumped slightly too slow there. That sucks. Not worth. That health increase though as we fall. Oh! I flipped off the block. I might have to turn off the thing. I when I have to get down to one block precision, this is a little too hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's too hard to control. Oh man, that is way too rough to control. Right, let's get out of here. Though I can't wall jump up there, so those treasures are out of bounds. Um, I could save with 18, which is better than when we save with 6. Oh, I can't actually save there again because I don't have wall jump. Well, I guess I gotta commit. Where's our next save? Down to... Okay. to do that. Yeah, we definitely have super jumps across the map. We're, we're like too good at jumping at the moment. It's actually a downside for me. Because again, trying to land on a single block when you move more than a block every time you jump is kind of crazy. As I said before, this is a single press. Look how far we go with a single press. Unless I do like the frame perfect. That's how much momentum I get off of that. Crazy. A little extra health in case I need it. Ooh, almost bonked my head. That could have been super bad. Speaking of super bad. That's not good. I took damage there. Okay, so I could go down and save. We know there's healing down there if I could just make it. So I will just use the delete orb. Don't fall straight down or you die. Yes. Remember when I was talking about evil chat? Remember that? I remember that. That would have game overed me right there. That would have been the saddest game over. Evil spikes. There we go. See that, Chan? I glitched the healing. Yay! We found a bug. Jumping into the blood causes the bug to double heal. You're all witnesses, Chan. I found out how to break the game. Double healing. That's pretty OP. Too bad it's only useful in a couple of rooms. Oh no! Why does it think you have zero Ziggledees? so sad. I think it's a little confused. Uh, that means I went basically everywhere then. Yeah, it's it's fine. There's something wrong with stream elements, guys. You you could you could stop using it. I just don't think it understands. Okay, I don't want to fall all the way down, because we saw that there's randomly spikes to punish you for doing that. Which is also evil, by the way. Just by the way, putting spikes at the end of a long ladder. Rude. Uh... Is there anything? So there's no bonuses in this room. The Christian the Ziggledy bot, I think so. I only have one blue key. Uh, this might not work. Also, I don't have any red keys. Wait, where was the other red key? Uh oh, I don't remember. Does chat remember where the red key is? Uh, 
We use two of them. I'm trying to think. Oh, it's not the place where I thought it put me. This looks like a classic game. There we go. Blue Dawn is still sort of working at least. There we go. This is what I thought I went to. Now we have a very easy to get to healing spot. The question is, where is the other red key? Oh, you know what? I know where it is. I looked at the map. I think I remember. It's... Closer to this, I think? The question is, can I reach it? Find out. Oh, I might not be able to reach it. Oh, that's kind of evil. Hmm. So, did I lock myself out of the other room because I went to the Gorgon place? Because I can't reach this. I'm pretty sure the other red key was up here, for clarity, in the upper right. Hmm. That's a bit disappointing. Hmm. Yeah, because that means I locked myself out of the whole other dungeon because I went to the Cyclops den. That kind of sucks. Right? Because I, unless there's some other way to wall jump that I haven't been made aware of at this point. Because I, I didn't need it to beat it at any point. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, unless there's another red key, I don't remember. I mean, there's definitely one in... Uh, the tower roots, because it's right here. I'm pretty sure, because you wall jump up there and you can use it. Did we do the one? I don't think where the other ones were. We never went to the left side in the Hall of Phantom, but I'm not even sure if we can climb that. Um... I guess if I try to go to the Hall of Phantoms, I might be able to get that other red key? Maybe? I I'm racking my brain for where we last were, because we did technically see where all the key locations were, but it's like, hmm, after three weeks, thinking about it is very interesting. I'll take the extra blue key here. I'm not gonna say no to that. So we have more progression if we need to, to reach uh, the, the tower roots. So having extra keys is good. But I think our destination is down here. Yeah, okay, remember this door, chat? I think this one will also lead to a red key. But can I glide to it? Maybe? Maybe I could get a really big... Oh, yeah, with our super jump, we can make this. Okay. So I still don't have... So we could... Unless there's more red keys than there were required. I don't remember finding bonus red keys when we played last time. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, since I'm here, I might as well just double check what was down here. Oh no, look how broken that is. <laughs> look at that. Holy. Wait a minute. Look at that healing. Oh, I got the triple heal. Damn, he's broken. Also, the game had no idea what to do there. Get through. 
Yeah, character swap doesn't do anything. I can interestingly just go here now. Yeah, like, I don't think I want to go to the left here. Since that would just lead to the place that doesn't give me anything. Yeah, so maybe it's not possible to go through the whole place? Because again, without wall jump, I don't see how you would do the other thing. So we have to choose which place not to do. I'd rather not do the one on the left, because I don't remember there being anything interesting over there in the cathedral. I mean, does chat remember anything other than setups? I don't remember anything other than setups. I think there was, like, the magic block upgrade, but if those don't work, I don't think there's a purpose in doing so. Or at least if we take the other route, we should at least get to maybe fight another boss. Which to me is more interesting. Um... Yeah, this is fun. Zero out of ten, Bell's not ringable. It's weird that it's not hittable. In a, in a game like Castlevania, you would be able to hit it normally. I will say that is a fail from their side. Poor Flesh Beast. You are but a few swings to me. Well, we got very minor stat increases. I got an extra blue key, two extra silver, or two white keys. I'm gonna try to get to the bonus area. Just because I want to see if we fight another boss. Whatever. He can hit me during the door animation? Oh my gosh. You... Tears of Asalon, excuse me. Where are my iframes? <laughs> Where were my iframes, chat? I think I, I think I was very thoroughly cheated out of 30 health there. I think we can all agree on that one. <laughs> Actual nonsense. Gotta go heal up real quick. There we go. I've totally confused the healing in this game. Rude. <laughs> I just took 30 damage while stuck in a cutscene. Game, please. I have so many things I have to go back and clip. Between this game and the other session? Hmm. I don't know how to get by him as easily. I'm lucky that that worked out, but... Only part of that was intentional. I'm hit by that again. So we are getting very minor upgrades for going this way, but I want to get the key. Oh. Hoping it would die. Oh, what the? Like, please don't shoot stuff at me. Oh, maybe it was like a puzzle that you're only supposed to jump in a certain order. Alright, don't touch that, because that's a big troll. I remember that from last time. Big troll if you touch that. It puts you all the way back at the beginning. Which I don't want to do. There we go. Double in the healing. Bullet is. It's funny that enemy attacks do so much less than spikes. I'd rather just willingly jump at the enemies at this point than deal with the spikes. So close. Now I'm gonna take the teleport back.
Last time we did that, I didn't end up getting the uh, switch that I needed, so I had to go through the whole thing again. Oh, he didn't notice me? Now he did, I think. Maybe? Or not. No, but if he wants to turn his back to me, that that's his fault. I can't be held liable for that. Oops, I don't know why I jumped back. Uh, I just need one more and we can go get the key. Total's looking pretty good. 89, 89's health is a lot of health to just burn on random attacks. I mean, that attack just actually deletes them for real. Okay, so now I should be able to get the key. Means I should be able to go to the other area. So, I think... Wow, I did not even mean to land there, but that's fine. So, I think we got a decent amount of upgrades. I don't think we got anywhere near all of them, because obviously I can't go down some of the paths. But I feel like our damage is really, really high for where it should be. I mean, the fact that that's one-shotting an elite enemy, good sign. Okay, so, we got the key. Get out of here. <laughs> so unfair, right, chat? Holy. Yeah, I saw like a couple health ups we could get, but I don't think they matter. Now we just need to get out of here. <laughs> I jumped so high, I actually bonked my head on the other block. That's funny. You're out of there, right chat? Bye. I don't know how I didn't take damage there, but I'm not gonna question it. Are we near the end of the game, asked Grand and I? I think so. There's only one more thing I want to do before beating the game. Let's see. Uh, I should probably save before I do what I'm about to do. Oh, there's a save here. Whoops. Let's get a real save. That is not the right floor. So it's interesting that I, I skipped basically all the wall jump sections by breaking blocks. So... Does the other character... I mean, the other character has to have flight then, right? Because if you're not allowed to use wall jump... Unless they make... I doubt they would make both characters break the blocks. That'd be pretty boring. So maybe there's a character that can fly. Maybe... I wonder if flight costs HP or something. Guess we'll find out. I'm not fighting you. Listen, we'll face tank and just keep going. Alright, so now we have the key. Winning the war of attrition versus the boss. It's weird that I'm having like the graphic 
for the strike animation near like the horse's rear when I'm hitting the head. That's kind of weird. Just needed a couple more strikes. Oh, stop bunking on his chest plate. There we go. Welcome, DevG. Hope you're doing well. Was it worth it? Oh, that's a chat. That is a fast HP regen. Did we talk about this? Well, I think I'm guaranteed to win the final boss. If I regen this much HP. I was thinking it'd be like one, like every two seconds. It's like one, 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 one. <laughs> right, Chad? You know there's gonna be times where I could just heal like three health between attacks. So yeah, if we go, if we're allowed to boss rush with this character, I think he would just auto win, to be honest with you. Anyway, look at us go. Let's go beat the game. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I might hold off of the other modes for later. Technically, we probably have enough time to do the boss rush. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Uh, I'm going to save our progress in case it matters. Sorry for backtracking one more time. We still have spare keys, which is funny. We have all these souls that don't do anything. But yeah, I think overall I had more fun exploring, honestly, with this than the roguelike one. Just the only downside I would say is I wasn't a fan of the fact that there wasn't healing per save room. I think that would have just made more sense to put the blood in pretty much every save room. Or have an option to heal at the campfire. Or alternatively, mark all the blood rooms. Any of the above, I think, would have been fine. Prepare yourself, knight. As you will face your greatest challenge yet. Get out of here. <laughs> Chad, I'm, I'm regenning on the cutscene. Oh my gosh. Disrespectful. Well done, child. You've completed your trials. <laughs> Disrespectful. Oh, is that it? Damn, GG. The trials have been completed. You have done well. Your power grows even now. Go forth. Exact your revenge on the ones who gave you up ones who abandoned you. Yeah, we definitely did not need any upgrades for that final fight. We are overpowered. And let them come looking. Let's they approach these lands. They're as good as food. Yes. Once we escape this prison, we will go never go hungry again. I'm strong enough to kill even the titans. <laughs> go on, child. Show us what kind of monster you've become. There we go, I guess. Oh, I guess he's killing people in the bottom right. GG to the original party, I guess. <laughs> Quite a challenge, yeah. This character is really overpowered. Holy. No contest. The fact that he was like quadruple hitting for triple his triple his damage at points was just crazy. Poor Medusa. Actually stood no chance. But yeah, we killed all the bosses that we could reach, I think. So definitely a longer run than if you had just played through and memorized all the locations. Definitely could see you beating it in like under 30 minutes. I, I could definitely see that. I don't know what the actual speed run is, but looking at it, you could skip like four entire dungeons and you can bypass most of the puzzles. 
So honestly, I'm not even sure if you need to go out of your way for any items at all. Arguably, if you just one-shot it, you don't even need to get the elevator key. Because at no point do we technically need to use it. Unless you're going for the secret, like I was, where I wanted to go to Tower Roots. Because you also don't even need the warp, either. So that's like two relics that you just absolutely don't need. It's kind of silly. It's a bit unfortunate that the other relics didn't do anything. Gaze into alternate realities. Astalon Jr. Super Astalon RPG Tears of the Earth. Poison comes from another tower. Little Mario reference there. Mini bosses. Burning emblem? Oh no. Arius alternates. Algus alternates. Yuli alternates. I was gonna say, oh my gosh, she almost has a neck in one of them. Estalon, the crystal sword. Astalius, the second lightning. The old man. And fall by I hate you all. There you go. That's certainly something. Hey, we only have one more game mode left to see what the final secret is. Maybe next time we'll just go beat monster mode. Killing with the neck impossible. Yeah, it's definitely impossible. So I guess we'll, we'll end here because it doesn't really make sense to start another playthrough. But I think it'd be reasonable to assume we will probably just full beat the game next time we play. Arguably, we could boss rush, but I, unless that unlocks something, I don't think I really, I don't, I don't think I really care about the boss rush. So the bosses in this game are pretty easy. I mean, you saw chat. We we literally just beat the game in one session with like a vague understanding of the castle. Some characters are just better than others. <laughs> just like this character was so overpowered. It felt like his normal swings were a bit on the weak side. But man oh man. His uh piercing death orb was good. I guess if you were to play again, you would probably only pick up the plus five and plus four health pickups. And that's not because of safety factor, but just so that you could spam more death orb. <laughs> like that would just literally be it. Death orb OP chat. So sadly it didn't really get replaced anything like no tag swapping. No gliding, no double jumping. So it seemed like there were areas we just couldn't reach. Because we got the relics that would have normally let you do that, like the Griffin Claw, for example. So I think that was intended, but a bit disappointing. Because I thought at some point we were going to get some crazy wall jump stuff. Or potentially wings or something. But sadly that never happened. So I guess we'll look forward to next time where presumably we will beat the game again, but with a different character, question mark. So until then, I guess we'll say goodbye to YouTube. So thanks for watching, and I guess see you in the next run.